Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome to this episode of the Note Culture Show. As always, Scott Carson, excited to be here with you today. I uh, want to give a big shout out to our listeners, actually, who are listening uh, to the show while they're driving around on our different 16 AM FM radio stations out there. would love for you, if you've got a second, pull over, stop what you're doing, and take a second and shoot a text message to me. I want to he hear from you if you are listening live on the radio on any of our 16 AM FM radio st stations or st live streaming through 24 7 AM FM. Uh, should be a text message to say radio, R A D I O, radio to 512 585 3810. Once again, 512 585 3810. Send me a text message and say radio, and I will send you a special gift here before uh, the day is done. So if you're listening to that, if you're also listening to this on iTunes and our other podcasting uh, channels, feel free to do the same thing. Uh, just say uh, podcast at that point in your text message you send to me. So we're just doing a couple of test things this morning, checking out where everybody's coming from. We're getting bombarded with so many people listening to the podcast. We're just excited. Just wanted to see who's listening where. And uh, you know, trust me, you'll be very happy and pleased with the gift that we're offering off this. I'm not gonna do it. I shouldn't have to bribe you, trust me. A gift is a gift, all right? You know from me, it's a pretty decent gift. But this morning, we're honored. It is the first Wednesday of the month, and we are honored again to have our good buddy, a brother from another mother, mother the funding guru, the, the, the hacker, a hacking of your credit to boost your scores, to get you things rock and roll, the man, the myth, the legend, Meryl Chandler. What's up, Chandler Licious? You doing all right this morning, man? I'm doing spectacular. With an intro like that, I, I just take a bow and just thank you, let the roses. Hang on a second. Me, you know, thank you. No, we don't want the bomb. I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button on the noisemaker. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Seriously, I would, I am committed to living up to every one of those monikers because those are some awesome, awesome uh, titles. Well, you know, the, the beautiful thing is uh, you you do that already, Chandler. You're doing a great job out there rock and roll. I mean, we've known each other for six or seven years now. Uh, always yeah. enjoyed working with you. We've got, you've got raving fans that are students of ours as well out there. And you guys just wrapped up another amazing uh, Hackers Funding Club boot camp this weekend, didn't you? This, this yeah. last Saturday, Sunday, right? Well, we had an, we had another slew, uh, another cadre of uh, funding hackers graduated from our two day boot camp, and I'm telling you, push ups got nothing on how extensive uh, your mind is blown by the time you end um, the, on Sunday afternoon. So it was spectacular. We had. Uh, kind of a new take, and for those uh, for those of you who are, because um, we're going to be sharing this onto our uh, Funding Hackers um, interview as well, um, our Funding Hackers Club uh, uh, Facebook page, this was, uh, we took it to a whole new level. There are so many things we got to cover here because questions drive it all, right? And that's why we allow our kind of gold package people to have access to every single boot camp that we've ever done and all the ones in the future because nothing is ever the same. So it's if you attended a boot camp yourself, it's still worth the listen to go back and glean all of the all the good juice that we uh, that we squeezed out of that weekend. Yeah, because I was, you know, that's a beautiful thing. I was seeing updates. I joined a few of the the sessions and stuff like that throughout the weekend. I went, you know, I went to your class. Uh, Two months ago, I think it was a February class that I, I spent time in. We right. got, through, got a ton out of it. Uh, excited to be working with you guys on our own stuff. Uh, you know, Seth's been a client for quite a while and, and extremely happy. And um, you just, it's amazing seeing others talking about things. You know, uh, mutual clients are reaching out to me like, oh, my God, this is exciting. Uh, and it jacked up with it. And that's the, that's the beautiful thing is what, what I think the biggest thing is that, you, that they are they feel very empowered. And I think a lot of times when you talk about credit, most people don't feel empowered. <laughs> right. They're, it's an adversarial relationship. They got the money. I need the money. Why won't they give me money? I'm a good person, right? That's, there's kind of an adversarial relationship. And we pull the rug out from underneath that, right? We, we teach our clients, or I'm sorry, we teach the students in the boot camp itself how to shift that paradigm. We want, um, we, I liken it to a, um, an NBA team. 
team, right? You got the, the owners that own the, own the team, and then you got the coaches, the managers, and they're looking for, they're looking for draft picks who are going to play their game with them and help them win, right? Well, imagine what if the ball is funding a $100,000, $500,000 in credit lines. They're looking for people who can qualify to use those and play this game to win. So we want to be first round draft choice. We, the training, how to, how to create a personal profile, a business profile, so that when a lender looks at you, they're like, I want them on my team mm -hmm. because every time I give them the ball, they shoot it to score. That's kind of the metaphor that I, that I like to use when it comes to, um, instead, of up, uh, instead of, we're not playing against them, we're playing with them. With it's a team effort. They got the money. We got the skill set and the skill base and and the and the and what do I say? The the funding capacity, right? They trust us with their money because I teach you in this weekend how to align all of your uh, FICO measures, forty characteristics for funding. We we show you how to shape all of your behaviors so that you can kind of to play this game. And when you're given the ball, shoot to shoot the score. Exactly. And for those that don't know, uh, Merrill is the, uh, the CEO, the head honcho over at Credit Sense out of Salt Lake City. He's also part of Z Funding as well. But you're actually, what's kind of funny is you do boot camp, you're doing the fall, and then you decide to move offices the same week too, right uh -huh. afterwards. <laughs> Monday, we finish the boot camp. I wake up. Well, we've been waiting on this property, right? The, the, the lead, it's perfect because... Uh, I've, I'll show everybody next time, but it's a studio and a workspace for our advisor teams. And so now we're going to be able to just unload content um, and I can stand in front of a camera, do my thing, and then send that out to everybody who on the credit sense page, if you're a client, the insider secrets page, and if you're a, a member of the, the funding hackers, you get it on the funding hackers page. So we're going to be doing insane amounts of content now. We've been waiting for this space for two and a half months. And the, the lease came up. The other guys moved out over the weekend. I said, why not? I like, I like working at midnight, <laughs> making sure everybody's up and going the next morning productively. So it was a big, big win. That's awesome. Well, that's the thing is, you know, a lot of it's first of the month in and out. You're rock and roll, and you got your staff rock and roll. You're sharing some images. They're working hard, but you've got to, you know, it'll be cleaned up. But it's exciting because you guys are, are cranking out a ton of content, and not just on your uh, the weekend boot camps, but also your Wednesday web or the midweek webinars that you do. You're doing occasionally stuff like that, and so you really are providing because there's so many different myths out there for people when, when they think when it comes to credit. That's why we're talking briefly about that a minute ago. Is so many people have misconceptions. They think they know something or they hear something and it's not accurate. They don't know what's on their credit. You know, they think, uh, you know, their credit karma is their exact thing. You know, you're laughing about that. Uh, but, but I mean, it's, it's good to mantra or something, but it's still, if you really are serious about it, dive into it. You don't have to be scared knowing, you know, where you're at and, and then being able to take it from there. I mean, that's what you guys specialize in. Hey, let's show you where you're really at. Let's have a gauge. Let's not, you know, think about something. Let's put some goals down on paper. And the first thing you need to put a goal down, know where you're at. And let's figure out the 12 step program. Or whatever you get. <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah, we wanted to get you from being, uh, we, we, the 12 step program is, is a great, a, a great analogy because what it literally is each step builds upon each other. One of the things that's important for, uh, I kind of, this, I used a different analogy this weekend I talked about how we do a funding face plants, right? We think we're doing something well. You, you spend time and money building a Dun & Bradstreet um, a credit profile for your business and find out nobody uses Paydex. There's no banks out there that's gonna give you 50 or $100,000 of business lines of credit that uses a Paydex score. It's, it's, it's a bogus score. It's made up and, and, and um, manufactured by the collector of the data, right? Because until FICO has recently come into the, the business scoring arena, there hasn't been a real bona fide um, cr credit scoring process for business. And so we're on the forefront of that. I attend FICO World every single, um, uh, 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 every 18 months, they hold a FICO World. 
April of last year, 2018, we did, uh, we did um, that one. And now November, this coming November, we're headed to FICO World in New York, and we're gonna be getting even more intel on what FICO measures and how to make it easier to get you qualified for business lines of credit, business loans, et cetera. Not the stuff, the, the spark cards and the junk that ends up being reported on your personal. Those are not real business cards. We, get, we have an entire section. I keep pointing over to the studio, right? Because this is where we've been shooting. We just have an office here. So I keep pointing over the, the studio. Now, that's what we talked about this weekend is there are, if a credit card um, uh, reports on your personal, it is not business, no matter what it says on the card or the statement or in the marketing. If it reports to your personal, it is not business credit, guys. And so we have to make sure that if you're gonna get credit instruments, you get real credit instruments because when you use the Capital One Spark card or the, the Chase Inc or whatever it is that you're using that reports on your personal, when you raise those limits thinking, oh, I'm gonna put some stuff on it for my business, it drops your score. No bueno, this is not okay. So we've got to make sure that you have the right. And there, there's literally 80 or 90 of these powerful um, uh, 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 techniques, these hacks, as we call them. These hacks are all about creating fundability for you. We gotta have you stop face planting when you're trying to do um, a business credit and we wanna make sure we turn that car around. A lot of people think they're headed towards funding let's call that New York City, when actually they're headed to, you know, Fresno, California. Nothing against Fresno, folks. But I'm, I'm just saying, you think you're going one way, and you look at, you keep looking at the map, and you keep making uh, all the decisions to go in the opposite direction. The greatest feedback we get from these, uh, from our students at this boot camp is that I didn't know I was doing it wrong. No wonder I'm not getting funding. There, no wonder I'm not getting funded because I'm doing it wrong. And we want to stop you from making those, those uh, funding face plants where you keep tripping over psh, straight onto the ground. Well, and that's the thing. You guys do such a great job. And for those that are listening here, I want to throw this out, a link out early on here. We'll probably throw it out a couple of times, depending on when people come on and come off. We just find it so valuable. You definitely want to check out fundinghackers.com slash bootcamp for the next event that Merrill's got going on the end of April, the 27th and 28th of yeah. April. And then the next one is the 1st and 2nd of June as well. Uh, he's got the April date on there, but check it out. Depending on when you listen to this, when you download it, that kind of stuff. But check it out, fundinghackers.com slash bootcamp. Check it out. But that's the thing. <clears throat> you wouldn't – here's here's another analogy that you can use. Feel free to steal – you wouldn't go into being audited by the IRS without talking to your CPA first and him guiding you through everything, right? That's great. Remember, I, I'm going to, I am going to write that down. I'll write it down. <laughs> this is me writing it down, Scott, right now. I am now writing this down, right? And here. that's, and, and, and honestly, that's what you guys do. You are, you're not, you're not a CPA, but you are helping people guide them through the process of looking at personal and business credit to help them identify what they have. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Right. You know, you're the checks and balances and helping them out there like hey this is a good thing no this is a bad thing or hey here's a a trick to use or not really a trick a tool to use yeah a hack a hack exactly i know i i think hack is overused on things because when i think of a hack i think of a, a cat hacking up a hairball half the time <laughs> <laughs> these are funding hairball hacks <laughs> they're funding hairball hacks <laughs> steph will like that one um <laughs> and the animals lovers out there will love that but that's what i'm trying to is it's, it's a guide and you guys do such a tremendous job from start to finish. Hey, let's go through the personal aspect of things. Let's eliminate some of the myths. Let's eliminate some of the fears. Cause I think that was the overwhelming thing that I got. I know that Steph got it along with others out there got it was that eliminating the fears. Hey, what's really sitting out there? Um, what's, really is affecting your credit what isn't affecting your credit what isn't what it is affecting it what isn't what are the banks really looking at long term and like you said hey the dun and bradstreet whoopee freaking doodah right doesn't really have any bearing on anything and most people think that does have a bearing so it allows for you to maximize your time and maximize what you really need to focus on versus those that would be just a waste of time right 
Yep. I know it has been, that's a, no, that's a great tool for us to, to adopt because that there are so many, I mean, think of it this way. Um, FICO, the lenders, underwriters are all using um, algorithms. They're using if then, if then, if then else, right? If you have a 720 credit score and your, and your uh, credit card is a uh, limit is above 20,000 and your um, utilization for the last 24 months has been under 1% and your, I mean, it's just add all this stuff on, approve right? If it's not, it goes over and deny or reduces the limit. These are algorithms. So what we have to do is we have to take that entire list. And we introduced that at the boot camp. We take the entire list and we go through and do a, a, do a, a mental health checkup for your, for your fundability, right? How well is your profile doing? How healthy is your personal profile? How, how healthy is your business? We call them qualified personal profile on a qualified funding entity. Uh, to qualify them, we just have to make sure that they're hitting the, uh, those funding metrics. And mm -hmm. when they do, we, we just had a, a gentleman call us yesterday, or he, he was having his weekly uh, phone call, and he just got approved for a $356,000 um, write a check, do a deal credit line. And he, and he's been, a, he's been a client for 90 days and we, we're working on optimizing certain um, uh, parts of his profile, but he had a decent profile. We can get him in, we optimize his business. He's now shifting the focus of his business. And so, the, I mean, his first win within 90 days, right? Now I can't guarantee 90 days for everybody, but I can guarantee that you will get credit lines based on their funding what they're measuring, what their funding metrics. Look, come to the web, come to the to the um, the boot camp and find out exactly how, what those metrics are. Turn the car around, start heading for uh, for fun. What we need a we need a for my metaphor, we need a city that's on the. Maybe I'll make it San Francisco. Funding San Francisco, so it sounds. I, I or or basically the Emerald City, the yeah. Green City. There you go. The Emerald City. If you're not headed for the Emerald City, you're tooling around in Kansas. God bless the Kansans, um, at Kansinians. Um, we want to make sure that you guys, that you have the tools to do this. And by the way, that boot camp it's ninety seven bucks. Ninety seven bucks to attend. That's all it costs for full weekend of. Uh, taking the temperature of your personal and business and finding out what it is you need to do to move forward because our clients spectacular wins spectacular wins over and over and over so uh, and we also have a um, if there's if you'd like a kind of one hour presentation a free presentation on what all of this is and what it means to go to the boot camp that's also fundinghackers.com slash web class so everything is fundinghackers.com. There's web class to go for the one hour freebie. And, and if, you, if you like what we're talking about, 97 bucks and, and you have either the 27th to 28th, right? 27th to 28th or the uh, June 1st to 2nd, you're registered. And that's fundinghackers.com bootcamp. We just, guys, it's worth a hundred bucks to find out where you are so you can make this intelligent business funding decisions for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. You are the great and powerful funding Oz. <laughs> <laughs> I am the funding Oz. That's right. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain as he's punching <laughs> the numbers and showing you how it works. But that's right. kind of the thing. We, if you think about that, I mean, you've got, like you said, you've gone, you've been to FICO world a couple times. You've learned you've sat at the feet of greatness to figure out exactly what can I, you've, heard how they hack the system, how they, the algorithms can work. And you've been able to take the time to go back and forth with it. And so let me give you guys an, uh, some options here. I just want you to think about something for those who are listening out there. And I always like to look back at history. Okay. We're in a time where a lot of banks are giving a lot of lines of credit. They want to lend the money to you out there. Okay. So this is why I'm telling you, it's important for you to be working with Merrill to take advantage. It may not be as difficult as you believe, and I guarantee it's probably 10 times worse in your head than it actually is in real life, right? I'll give you an example. We've got lenders out there that are doing non-prime loans that, you know, they got really 
original with renaming subprime as non-prime these days, but they're giving 100% financing on houses to people like a 525 FICO. Think about that. We're back there. We're, get, we're back to it. Take the time. I guarantee it may not be 90 days. It may not be 120 days. It may not be six months for that, but you are going to be in a much better spot working with the guys and gals over at Credit Sense, the whole team over there helping you out, helping you clean up a few bumps on your stuff, eliminating old addresses. That was the biggest thing for me. I had 26 different addresses, you know. And that, uh, it's that like uses the algorithm as to who they're actually lending to. I mean, remember, we're data points, guys. We're not people. We're data points. And when you give them conflicting data, like various versions of your name or various uh, versions of your address, they don't know the Scott Carson for at X address versus Y address because Scott Carson, there's probably hundreds in their database. Merrill Chandler, I have 29, not a common name. But there's 29 Merrill Chandlers and 13 Chandler Merrills. And who? Uh, that's like, I have first names, and interchangeable first names and last names, right? That is a mess for an algorithm to know exactly who they're lending to. So, and remember, Automatic underwriting is taking over. Computers are delivering those 30 second to two minute approvals, not individuals. So we've got to match their funding guidelines. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Now, sidetrack here. I read an article yesterday. Get this Zillow. Zillow.com is now going to start originating. They've already been originating mortgage, but they bought a mortgage company for like $67 million last year. They're going to be originating mortgages all on their data points, all basically. Now, hopefully, hopefully they're smart enough not to use their own values. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, the, but the thing to keep in mind, this is what I'm trying to get at. A lot of people are getting into it. A lot of companies are getting into that. People want to lend money. Now, you're dealing primarily with a lot of banks and lending institutions that way to help people get lines of credit, right, Merrill? Cheap, yeah, cheapest money possible, guys. These are tier one and tier two banks, right? These are the big regional banks. Um, if they're advertising on TV, uh, uh, we work with them. So, uh, and we're talking not, we're, and we're not talking just the the what lightning loans or the the. I love it that accounting software are now rocket loans. You know, accounting software is now doing um, mortgages. Everybody's got money to lend, but the reason why they have money to lend is because they trust the algorithms. I keep saying this, but they keep. They, they trust the algorithms to give them really where they're not going to lose money because that's what the big data, they're, they're, they're processing literally billions of transactions and calculating what is safe and what's not safe and where to raise the interest rates because it's kind of safe. What if you knew exactly what those funding guidelines were? What if you knew all 40 of them? What if you knew what to do to improve your profile? That's what the that's what the um, fundinghackers.com slash bootcamp is all about. You will be able to learn how to turn your car in the way of Oz and the yellow brick road. And, and that's lined with awesome approvals of 20, 30, $50,000 business lines of credit, write a check, do a deal. These are not credit cards. When I say credit lines, I'm not one of these shysters out there trying to sell you a credit line. That's actually a credit card. These are true business lines. They do not report to your per, uh, personal. True business lines of credit, write a check, do a deal, and, and to the tune of whatever your tar uh, funding targets are. Some people like 100 grand. Some people like a million. Anything in between is viable. You just got to tell us what you want funded or how much you want, mm -hmm. and we show you. And the beautiful thing for those that are listening, they work with you until you hit that point. That's the thing. It's not just a year. It's as long as you need till you hit that point. So if you've got, you've got if you've got some bruises or some scars on your stuff, it's okay. They'll work with you. Keep you yeah. rock and rolling on that stuff to help you out with some stuff. Yeah, perfect credit. Probably sixty five percent of our clients have have no derogatory indi uh, indicators. They are perfect credit. Perfect credit. They're just not fundable. They don't have a fundable profile. The business lenders are looking at. Um, that's one of the things FICO told me was uh, when we were back there. I, speak, I spoke with the CEO. I've worked with the score development teams, both on the personal side and the business side. I, I asked a hundred questions, high end questions, such that they even made me sign an NDA before they answered them. 
because we knew way more. I've worked with tens of thousands of credit profiles. So the bottom line to this is that when we were back there, they told us what the, many of the answers of how to guide you to give you the right kind of intel to shape your personal and business credit profiles. That's the bottom line. So question for you too, how, and somebody asked, sent me a text message on this question. How does a previous foreclosure or previous bankruptcy affect their ability going forward on things to get, to get lines of credit? So, so ultimately there's what's called a drawdown period, right? The, uh, until the terminus date. Now there's two terminus dates, one at the creditor level and one at the bureau level. So we all know seven years from the date of last, uh, from the date of last delinquency, right? So uh, a foreclosure will be, will end up as a trade line that turns into, and it slowly, the longer time goes, the slow, more slowly you get back your points until it falls off your credit report, okay? So when it comes to a foreclosure, we've been able to get people back into, um, back into fundability, what we call fundability, mm -hmm. the ability to get funding um, both on mortgage or otherwise, as early as 24 months, more likely 36 months after the most recent foreclosure. That's if we don't find legal cause to have that negative item removed from your credit report. That's if we can't remove it. It's sooner if we can remove it. So, um, but again, we've, we, we, this is not credit repair. I co-founded Lexington Law Firm, the largest credit repair law firm in the country. And this is not credit repair. This is, this is optimization of your profile. And if you have negative accounts, then we take those into account. You'll learn all kinds of things, guys, at the, at the boot camp about what, how they actually measure negative items. You've been sold a bill of goods. I, I used to sell it when I did credit repair. Um, you're, you've been sold a bill of goods that everything that's on your credit report has to either stay there or that it is, if it does stay there, that it counts against you, right? Or there, it's a sliding scale. Everything is shades of gray. There is no black and white in funding, none. So. I just want to, <clears throat> it's a great answer to it. We've got people from the East Coast to the West Coast, to Detroit, to South watching in all across the country this morning as we uh, record this live for everybody out there. So that's a great answer to that aspect of things. You know, 30, 24, 36 months or sooner, you don't know until you talk to somebody, right? And most people are like, oh, foreclosure is going to haunt me for seven years. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to. And yeah, exactly. And the thing is, what people need to remember, what your listeners need to remember, is that you can compensate in other areas of those 40. Because remember, FICO measures 40 characteristics. Only 10 have to do with derogatory accounts. That means there's 30 ways to improve your fundability without touching a negative item. You just got to know what those 30 are. You got to know what they're measuring. You got to know what good is on those other ones. And you can, you can lessen the negative drag of that foreclosure. There are, some, there are some hard lines. Like if you get a foreclosure tomorrow, you're not getting a mortgage the next day. That is for sure. For sure. But the timetable, if we optimize your personal profile, there's more, uh, there, there are more things that are available to you. If you've got, if you're firing, uh, if they're doing all the heavy lifting, those other areas, then your foreclosure doesn't count as much against you. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing too, you got to realize everybody, there's, that was one of the big things people had asked me about. Well, I have this, I mean, cause let's face it. We deal with a lot of people who've been through ups and downs. So you, a lot of people went through foreclosures and short sales or have a judgment on their record. And they, that's why they don't really focus on because they don't believe they don't have the faith and then what they're doing. And that's the thing I wanted, glad Merrill ran with that, is that it's not all about your past. It's a lot about where you're at, what you're doing, your business setup, you know, things like that. And, and the actions that you're doing, the percentages, you know, staying below 40% of your existing credit cards, actually having and carrying a few, a little bit of balances. Uh, a lot of people think that, oh, I pay cash for everything. I got perfect credit. I pay cash for everything. You know, and that's not necessarily Those like, are smiling over there. Well, those are not the same thing. And what I said earlier is like 65% of our clients have good credit. It's about fundability. If you're not getting money, if you're getting denials, there's a reason for that. Let's fix that reason. Come to the boot camp, uh, 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 the funding, fundinghackers.com slash boot camp. I'm telling you, there are so many hacks you'll be able to take away from this. Tips, techniques, strategies, 
that will change that that will that will get you off of your face right because we just keep landing hard money uh, in, in my world if you're if you have to use hard money to do your deals that's a face plant if you have to use private money to do deals that's a face plant let's get up dust ourselves off and head towards uh, head towards the promised land <laughs> Am I mixing my metaphor? I'm just slaying with You know, we have, we've discussed the Yellow Brick Road, Oz, <laughs> you know, all sorts of fun things this morning. Out, you know, uh, the 12-step programs getting audited. <laughs> 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 We're throwing, both throwing them out there this morning. <laughs> oh, that's a funny thing. That's a really funny thing. Now, what uh, – here's the thing I want to ask you. What's if you you may need to talk to your staff about this, but is there anything? Yes, you had a guy just recently, ninety days, three hundred eighty thousand dollars to sign on a check for a deal. That's a lot of funding, at probably sub seven percent interest rate loan, basically. Uh, uh, no, it's actually um, it was it was five point five percent. Golly, yeah, the, uh, most of our stuff is between five and seven percent. Sometimes it'll go to eight percent in either like a San Francisco market, maybe pushing. Eight, you know, a little premium in there because everybody's scrambling for dollars uh, because everything's high, expensive. But usually five to seven slash eight percent in a whereas private money is you know nine, ten, eleven, and hard money is twelve percent, three plus points. Point, yeah. So let's so like somebody takes three hundred eighty thousand and they've got a five percent interest rate. They could literally go out and buy performing notes right now. They're bringing in twelve percent. Yep. You know, and be making seven percent on their money. That actually is living on the spread. That's yeah. now. Now you're playing the game like bankers. They rent cheap money from the Fed. They rent it out to us, for expensive, and they live on the spread. That's how lenders make money. If you're not playing that game, then we're leaving money on the table, right? So that's seven percent on your ROI. Then that's seven percent. After you pay the cost of your capital, that's about 120 percent ROI, basically. If you yeah. figure in that you're making seven percent above the five, you know that's that's not just a seven percent spread. That's a big chunk of money. I mean, I'll give you an example. Hedge funds do this when they're like raising capital. We've got a couple of the mortgage funds that are selling off mutual funds at like one percent, at like a thousand bucks. Well, they can take that money at one percent. They don't care if they go out and make eight percent. You know, they can, you know, buy notes are paying seven and eight percent, eight percent because they're making an 800 percent return on their money. Yeah, it's it, it is crazy. So, like you said, on five percent at seven percent, you're 120 percent. Right. So it, it, it this is I love what I do. And I and nobody I have a money back guarantee on the first day. If you don't like the boot camp, if you have, if it's not just scorching your brain with awesome then I say at the end of the first day, I'll give you 100% of your, uh, of your uh, 97 bucks back. But, and you've uh, done it. You've only had to do it once because somebody was so difficult with the technology. Correct. You know? Yep. I've ne not for content. They just couldn't log on or get it right. Said, yeah, give me my money back. And I did. But nobody that has actually was able to listen, I've had nobody ask for their money back because they all wanted to go to the second day, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? So, yeah. awesome. Yeah, and that's the thing too, guys. It's, it, this is stuff that will keep you on the edge of your seat. You'll be working through homework. You've got some stuff you've got to pull. You go, and Meryl shows you how to go there, hey, download your three reports, and then start filling out your, your scorecard. Start yep. filling out your report card so that you can get the most out of the, the weekend. And, and this yeah. is not hours and hours and hours of homework. It's just a little bit of stuff. I completed mine in, in less than an hour. Yeah, it, but it's vital, right? We got to, yes. we just need to get the data so that you can be most effective when you come to, when you come to the class. So mm -hmm. it's been, it, it's been so much fun. We do one a month and we just, everybody, we want, so if you can't get a hold of us, um, you can always follow this lead. Let's say you listen to this podcast six months from now, even though the dates we've told you today are not there. If you follow that link, uh, fundinghackers.com slash bootcamp, it will tell you when the next one is and you just sign up for that one. So it doesn't matter when you hear this, that link will give you the next one on deck. And you can know if there's not, if it's not a holiday weekend split by a, 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 where Monday is off like Labor Day and Memorial Day, 
if it's the generally speaking, it's going to be the last weekend of every month, barring holidays. <laughs> exactly. What's been one of the biggest surprises or, that you got from one of your clients recently? You know, uh, yeah, you had the guy 90 days in, 380, but maybe somebody who didn't have the rosiest of profiles. Anything that kind of stands out? Because I know you guys have a ton of success stories. Yes. We, uh, we have clients come to us all the time and where we, because we're not doing a traditional dispute, right? What, be, because we're working on identity, and, the, and this is kind of a, a, a little deep, but I'm going to geek out here for a second. Because we're identity sets, think of it this way. What if we were to pick one of your identities that's on the credit profile? We're, again, we're not creating new social security cards or new names, none of that. We just pick one that we want to work with, right? A name, version, an address. And then what if we associated all of your current accounts, the positive accounts with that one address? We'll call it the good credit address. Then we go over and all of your bad credit is listed with not this address. Let's say all the other addresses are associated with your negative credit. We don't go after the counts themselves. We say, because uh, the Fair Credit Reporting Act allows us to have our legitimate address that has on our government documentation, our driver's license, social uh, passport or whatever, if that's our good credit address, then we get to dispute the identity associated with those negative accounts. If they delete the identity, the accounts get deleted too. This is not traditional credit repair. We're taking on the data points. They're playing the game with data points. We come back at them with data points. We don't care if you had it or not. We're finding out whether it's legally responsible of them. If they, if, if it has been legally verified that it should be reported. If it doesn't, it comes off. And so we have clients regularly who call up and they're like, I cannot believe this. They send an email, they talk, usually they're talking to their, um, I was trying to see if I could show the camera where the, 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 the one team is over there in, the, in their uh, space talking to clients right now. But they, we get clean, what's called a clean sweep. It's not guaranteed. But we get a clean sweep where every negative item is removed because they're all associated with those, those bad credit versions of your identity. And then we preserve and protect the good credit version. Does that make sense? That it totally does. It's like total technology. It makes sense to you because you're, you, you've attended the deep dive, right? But think of yourself as a data point, guys, and it changes the whole game. These are not regular disputes, not mine. <laughs> It could be as simple as saying, okay, I need to register my, I need to make sure and focus on Scott A. Carson versus Scott Carson, because Scott Carson's more neutral. Yep. And, and probably and of course, Scott Carson instead of Scott A's. Exactly. And, and so then we link that with the correct version. There's a standard format. There's an official format for your address. If you're not using it, you're, you're not getting, you're not leveraging all of the opportunities you have to have not just great credit, but make that credit fundable so that lenders look at you and say, hell yeah, I want to give them more money. That's, 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 that's really cool. It's almost like <laughs> beer goggles for your... Because <laughs> that's what you're doing. You're basically yeah. putting goggles on. Saying, hey, you don't need to focus about Scott... Carson, you need to focus about Scott A. Carson and how they look at the prom. Not that they stay at yeah. home in their shirts and underwear 24 you know, days out of the month, but the six days, here's where you focus and you push everything to it. That's G. I never thought about that, Mary. I mean, you talked a little about that in the, the class on that aspect of it, but that makes a lot of sense because everybody's got middle names and you have, like, I was surprised because I had 27 different addresses, 26, 27, 27 <laughs> different addresses. And every one of you who have mortgages in your name or real estate or notes in your name, those are going to those are going to get reported to the bureaus, and now they're going to say, okay, where which, which Scott Carson am I lending to? Because not only do you have twenty seven, but there let's pretend there's another forty Scott Carsons in the country. There are hundreds, and those Scott Carsons have all of those addresses. 
you don't have one version of, of one address associated with you. You got 27, so you're just getting thrown in with all these other Scott Carsons. And so instead of getting approved for a 50, they try you out for a five, because we don't know exactly which one we're getting until we build this relationship with him. And relationship, we'll get into that in the, in the boot camp. but the relationship is, up, is everything to bankers now. So those are the deep dives we're gonna be looking at at, at the boot camp. Fundinghackers.com slash bootcamp. The next one will always be published. And when the week before, we don't take any registrations the week before. So you gotta act now the week before. And then and then the the calendar will change inside of the, the website and it'll show up the June one, et cetera. That's downright sexy. I just that, the whole thing you're talking about there. Not in the boot camp, yes, but the the, the aspect of that yeah. the, the last 10 minutes I'm sitting here, hmm, you know. <laughs> Yeah, and what we're doing is we're just playing the game as they set it up, right? Oh, you're a data point. Oh, that's convenient. Thank you very much. So if I'm a data point, here's all my good credit associated with these data points, and I'm in all my bad credits associated with this data point. Voila. So one of the things, and I'm gonna side tr- make a, a note here, like our friend Julian Sadati, and I think you've met Julian before, yep. great friend of ours who does the SEC and stuff like that. She posted something today, and I think this is, it, it, it ties into what you're doing even more valuable. She's talking about how a lot of people, when they have a deal, they'll go online and they'll just solicit without having a pre-existing relationship with anybody. They'll get out there, hey, fund my deal, or I'm looking for funding, they don't have a relationship. And the SEC just, you know, so a season desist to somebody who was doing that and they have a relationship. Yep. And it is all everything to do with finances is moving more and more. No more is it is it going to be like um, uh, what are the 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 one Craigslist? There are no more Craigslist financing guys. <laughs> yeah, if you're getting people, and that's the thing too. You see a lot of those crooks out there right now. Hey, I'll give it to you at like three percent or four percent interest. And you know, I had a buddy of mine who believed that off of an ad and somebody sent a, a copy of his driver's license. So the guy went and paid five grand in fees up front and the guy never showed up with anything. Wow. So what, I'm, what I'm trying to get at everybody, if you're listening to this and you're wanting to do more real estate deals and things like that, you know, you need to be looking at this. It's a, it's a different conversation when you have the funding and you've used it to buy an asset. Absolutely. And Absolutely. then it, it's a totally different conversation with a potential funding partner. It's like, Hey, here's a deal that I've closed on. It gives you that a little extra time to develop those relationships. It also looks really good. Say, Hey, we have existing relationship, existing banking relationships with ABC bank or bank of America or whatever, like that aspect of things like that, that adds to your credibility. It also gives you a little bit more of a a ability to breathe or also to close on deals in the three day or seven day or two week period because you've got credit available. Because you can write a check to do that deal, right? And they're take it, take down the property. And I recommend that nobody keeps uh, anything up for more than six months to a year on these before you have a, a long-term takeout instrument, right? Put it into a pledge fund uh, uh, or put it into a blanket loan or otherwise, right? You want to keep, you, you want to use these credit lines. The turnover is what builds the relationship. Right. So you want to be turning and burning, right? You just want to create more and more and then, Put them in the so that's the raging river. Then you you have the lake. What's holding all of your long term assets? But these you want to be able to take those down fast and furious, and then and then uh, and then get the finding. You can if you can qualify for one of these trophy, what we call a trophy line, right? Because it's it's proof that you're badass at playing this game, right? So if you can take these trophy lines down, you're going to get any kind of long-term loans or otherwise, um, especially from the same banks that you've been building these relationships with that we teach you how at the boot camp. Well, that's one thing too I want to bring up because I get people that call me all the time that are getting to be in note investing or real estate investing and they don't want to use other people's money. They want to use all their savings or the money they've got in their own IRA accounts. And I'm like, that's great. Phenomenal. You've done that to, to raise that capital. That's smart. Yeah. Okay? but you should still not be using your own funds. If you can use other people's money, whether it's somebody else's IRA funds or using another bank's money, yes, you might be paying 5%, but the power of leverage yes. is, is, is so valuable and stuff like that. And you use that and save your money for when you knew, do need to fund on something that's really important, but use this other money, build a relationship, grow a business. I mean, if, if lines of credit 
and bank financing is good for good enough for Warren Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should pay attention. Yeah, exactly. He didn't go fund his whole deal himself. Yeah, what I would tell people who have money, uh, I say, sh show me a show me a woman with a, a an unfundable credit uh, profile and a million dollars, and I'll show you one with a million dollars, and she's just going to use her million dollars. Show me a, a show me a woman with a fundable profile, a fundable business, and a million dollars, and I'll show you leverage two to three or more million in leveraged funds. Because imagine. You, if you do it right now, you got to do it right, guys. But imagine taking that million dollars and setting up five credit lines at two hundred thousand. And if you know how to negotiate the deal, after you've used it a certain amount of time, you take that two hundred out. It goes to unsecured or it goes to fifty percent secured. I, we teach this entire process to our clients. Um, you won't learn it in the boot camp, but you'll learn why you need the well, how to get the profile in place right? I, I, take that million dollars and leverage it into three to $5 million. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Cause then when the market turns South, you'll have plenty of capital there to be able to pick things up at yep. pennies on the dollar. You know, Absolutely. that's the thing. That's why we're all prepping for things. That's why I've been, people ask me all the time, what's the market going to do? Well, the market's done this for enough. It's starting to flatten out and we're going to start seeing there. You want to have that stuff developed and in six to 12 months so that when it's, everything does hit the fan, yep. you've got the lines of credit, you've got the relationships, you're ready to roll to really. I'm, I'm, you're exactly right, Scott. I'm pushing people and saying, you need a minimum of a year. Get it done now it, so that you're in a position to play play this game hard when, when, when there's a reset. That's the truth because it's going to reset in a variety of different ways. And um, those that know the rules Okay, know exactly, uh, know the rules, know exactly what are going to benefit the most. Those that know the true rules of the game are going to make generational wealth when the market goes south. Thing. We got a couple comments here online. Uh, Mr. Dante Harris says, good afternoon from Detroit. Out oh, there, we got uh, Todd LaPierre from Orlando with a cha-ching. He's a very happy client. He goes, Merrill has a phenomenal program that creates a long-term funding solution. Good stuff. Hey, I love it when you're here. I love it when you're here. <laughs> Jim Myers from uh, Southern California says, good morning, gentlemen. He also sent me a text message. Uh, let's see, Dante Harris says, also, he says, I heard of these clean sweeps, and I didn't know if they work since everyone wants to be a credit repair specialist. <laughs> well, this is not credit repair. This is algorithm hacking. There is a massive difference. Traditional credit repair, Dante, is write a letter, hope something comes off. Not mine, not late hope something comes off. What you're doing is, even though we may com communicate uh, via correspondence, we're comparing and contrasting data points. You gotta play the game they've set before us. If you bring a badminton um, racket to a tennis match, you're going to lose every single time, right? So you've gotta make sure that you know what game is being played and then become masterful at that game. So there is, the, a clean sweep, credit repair might get lucky. I'm just saying we don't get lucky. We strategize against what this is uh, 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 about what is up, uh, what's possible and what's probable given your particular profile. But we can, uh, as I said, we can optimize without even touching negative items. That's what no credit repair can do. Credit repair doesn't optimize. They do not optimize your profile for funding purposes. That's that. That's where the game is is being played in the future, and we own that game. Nobody else does what we do. That's the truth. That's that's nobody owns the game like you guys do. Nobody is taking the time to do it. Everybody's all busy about the past. Well, you're not focused on the past. You guys are focused on the future. You've put the, How put do the we investment do in the in the credit bank, going asking questions, as we said earlier, setting sitting down the foot the foot of the FICO world. Yeah. And the gods at FICO on Mount Olympus. So absolutely. Credit, Mount Credit Olympus. We got to figure something out like that. But, <laughs> you know, you, you, you might, you know, you're not Poseidon. You're not Hades. You are, you know, you are shooting fireballs out of your lightning <laughs> bolts out of your ass when it comes to helping people out there, Meryl. <laughs> oh, Zeus. No, I got to give Zeus to uh, Will Lansing, uh, the CEO of FICO, who I met with face-to-face, -face personal. 
and he's the one who uh, told his score development teams, both personal and business, to work with me. Um, wow. I did meet with him. So I will give him credit for being Zeus because that man knows how to, he is making FICO into seriously an amazing, amazing opportunity. And we get to, we get, because we are who we are, it, he loved my business model. So empowering borrowers to become more fundable. We're not, we're not gaming the system. We're, we're playing it to win. And he loved that. And so we've gotten, you know, we've gotten the cooperation we have. That's awesome. And that's, that's a rarity. That's a good thing. I don't think you should have mentioned names there, but I don't, you know, the beautiful thing is though you are doing stuff, you are really helping people. Uh, the cost is so affordable and you are willing to work with people on their long-term plans and stuff like that too, to stick with them. You're, you're working within people's budgets. That's, that's the, the beautiful thing about people. This is not, well, we do have coaching. Um, what's fascinating is um, we made a corporate decision January 1st. Nobody becomes a client without attending the, the boot camp because that's where the education happens. We can't, we can't make you, you know, if you're, a, if you've been raised a chicken, we can't make you an Eagle uh, until you've been, you've gone through your re-education process. Right. So we want to, for, to be a credit Eagle, uh, I guess credit Eagle instead of a credit seagull, but that's there the, you go. is we want you to, so Nobody gets to work with us in, in a coaching or, you know, all that stuff until they've gone to the, the boot camp because that's where the rubber meets the road. And that's where we find out where you really are and, and how fast we can get you funded. Exactly. It's a big thing. Don't be a seagull, be an eagle. Uh, go check out funninghackers.com slash boot camp. Yep. Uh, like I said before, if you're listening to the very end of this, shoot me a text message, 512-585-3810. If you're listening to on any of our, our 16 AM FM radio stations, type in the word radio with a special prize. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, just put in a uh, podcast and uh, a couple special surprise for you guys that we're not going to mention here. You got to play to figure out what it is, but trust me, it's be well worth your time to play the game. And yeah, we'll uh, Meryl, you guys do a tremendous job. You, Brad, Cheyenne, Jessica, uh, Sarah, everybody over there, Hannah just does a tremendous job. If I'm forgetting somebody, please apologize. Well, we have we have an entire you you missed uh, entire teams, but that's okay because you've gotten the people who lead those teams, and our and our teams are just crack at being able to solve problems. So uh, the last one is if you want an hour a free uh, hour of finding out what this is in an organized fashion instead of our question and answer. Um, go to fundinghackers.com slash web class and register. That's free. And we hold those. I think uh, the 11th or something is the next one, two, two Thursdays from now. And um, come and come and play there. And then we'll, uh, we'll introduce you to the, uh, the, the boot camp uh, at that web class as well. Awesome stuff, Meryl. Thank you as always for bringing, bringing the thunder <laughs> no, right. this is awesome. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Thank you very much. And once again, guys, take advantage of the next uh, Funding Hackers is the 27th and 28th of April, followed then by the 1st and 2nd of June. Funninghackers.com slash bootcamp is the one to get registered for that. 97 bucks, guys. Trust me, it's well worth it. If you, if you don't like it, hey, he'll refund you back at the end of the first day. But it's well worth it. Trust me, you'll walk away blown away and have a whole new perspective on your outcome, your future, and what holds for you when it comes to getting lines of credit. And the, fa the fact that you can be fundable, it just opens up so many different options for you, whether you're a note investor, whether you want to be a fix and flipper, whether you're doing a variety, a variety of other things out there in your real estate business or just lending it or just arbitraging and the difference. So take the opportunity now, fundinghackers.com slash bootcamp. Check them out. Go to creditsense.com and trust me, it'll be a decision you're happy with. And that's what I've got for you. Go out, take action, and uh, we'll see you guys all at the top, everybody. Thanks, Meryl. Bye. Bye, -bye. We'll see you guys.